Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Coffee Break. Five minutes with God. Five minutes in the Word of God. Five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. Five minutes today to look at Jesus because he himself said, If I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. Reading today, Matthew chapter 2, verses 19 and 20. Father, sanctify us by your truth. Your word is truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Matthew 2, 19, But when Herod was dead, stop right there, this madman, this man who had no regard for anyone except himself, this man who had no respect for God, no fear of God, no fear of dying, no fear of judgment day, no concern for any other human being other than himself. This man died. There is coming a day when we will all die. Whether you think about it or not, whether you try to get it out of your mind or not, that day is coming. That is one thing that is certain. You're going to die. Are you ready to die? Herod was not, because he lived his entire life for self and never gave a thought about God or anyone else. Cruel and evil and wicked to the very end, as we will see. But when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and go into the land of Israel, for they, notice, they, are dead, which sought the young child's life. So it wasn't just Herod who was a danger to Jesus. There was a they who were a danger as well. And let me tell you who that they were and how God got rid of them. They are dead. how that happened? Well, as we saw in verse 19, Herod was dead. And just to show you how wicked this man really was, Herod knew that he didn't have a friend in the world. Wicked people like that don't. He didn't have a friend in the world. He didn't have anyone who cared about him. He didn't have anyone who would mourn for him after he died. Herod knew that no one would shed a tear after he died. So to show you just how wicked he really was, he gave a final command. And his final command on his deathbed, as it were, was to have many of his assistants murdered at the very moment of his own death. Why? so that there would be at least some crying and mourning in the land when he died. It wouldn't be for him, but he got some kind of sick satisfaction from knowing that there would at least be some people crying and mourning when he died, even, if, oh, even though it wouldn't be for him. And I'll tell you what's really bizarre. If you think that's strange... If you think that's ungodly, and it is, on your deathbed? Are you kidding me? No fear of God in this man's eyes. On his deathbed, he gives a command for cold-blooded murder, just so people will be crying when he dies. Believe it or not, that command was carried out. But here's where we see God's fingerprints, God's sovereignty. Those who were killed by Herod's ungodly command, those who were killed when he died, would have also killed the child Jesus if they had found him. So God used the sinful egotism of King Herod to eliminate would-be murderers and make things safe for his son. That is the providence of God. That is the sovereignty of God. For more of God's Word, go to thebibleversebyverse.com.